guys, Charisma here. So I've not done a haul video in like a really long time because I, I feel like I haven't really been shopping like that because I got I, like I accumulated more bills. So I've definitely been shopping less. And when I have been shopping, I've been shopping smarter. So this is pretty much a collective haul of maybe like this January, maybe at least like two or three months. Definitely not all at one time because I'm not ditty. I'm not balling by any means. But everything I pretty much I never pay regular price for shit except like makeup, really. But yeah, so the first thing I got, I got this brown and orange hat from the loft. I got it for two dollars and fifty cents. Not Ann Taylor, just the loft, because Ann Taylor's really expensive. I kind of feel like this is like an unfair thing to show you guys because it's just a navy blue blazer that I actually got from some thrift store. I purchased, it's actually inside out because I wore it yesterday. I purchased this sweater, it's inside out, but it's like a champagne color with a little bit of shimmer. Netted, I got this from White House Black Market. Um, that's pretty much it for like clothes. I did accumulate a lot of shoes. Everything was on sale though. I got these, um, what do they call it? Like a cigarette shoe, leopard ones. I got these from Lauren Taylor. They're by aerosols. I want to say like after my coupon or whatever, I probably paid like $30 for them. Like this is probably the only aerosol shoe in the world that I thought was cute because they kind of look like these Sam Edelman ones I wanted. But the Sam Edelman ones, they were still on sale for $120. And I was just like, well, I can get these. And these were like way more comfortable than the Sam Edelman ones. So I got those. I've been wanting these shoes for like a really long time. And I seen them at Lauren Taylor. And I just feel like they were just still too much money. And then like they didn't have my size. So I got this pair. These are by, these are DV by Dulce Vita. I got these from Marshalls for $39.99. I purchased, wait, I have another pair too. It's just that all the shoes, I just put one of each one on the floor. I got these cool boots from DSW. Um, well, how much did I pay for these? I want to say I paid like twenty dollars for them. They were originally, like, I think original price was like one hundred and fifty, hundred and sixty, and then they were like hundred dollars, like seventy percent off. And this is by some brand called uh, Crown Vintage. I really like this shoe because the, it looks uh, purpose like purposefully it's it looks aged and I like that I really like boots I think that's one reason why like winter is my favorite season I got the Steve Madden entice boot from Marshalls now the entice boot I know that I've never ever 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 in my life seen it on sale I know that Steve Madden they pretty much have this boot every year and I have a friend she has a tan pair and this is like the tote pair and I paid $36 for mine from Marshall's it was on clearance but like it was been marked down three times supposedly the retail price for these is 140 but if I'm not mistaken I feel like they're more I feel like they're like 180 but you know it's just a cute you know winter boot with um like a little wedge a really small wedge maybe about like an inch or so and it's like this weird leather material so these like my friend she has a tan where they look I like when stuff looks like rugged and aged and all that and these will do that so I like that these are also by Dulce Vita um I paid $39.99 for these from Marshalls I'm really excited um I know I've seen like the black pair in DSW but the black pair has like blue at the bottom and I know like Baker's has like their own version but the Baker's ones they feel really <clears throat> cheap <clears throat> cheap excuse me and they're made of suede some type of suede might not be real suede I don't even know I don't know it doesn't say I don't know but I like these shoes. They're red at the bottom. Now, I've been really into trying to get like pointy toed flat shoes, but like I have a pair of guest ones that I got probably like 2007. They're black 
all black patent leather and like the back like hurts the back of my foot but they look so cute on some people's feet and then like you know I don't, I don't mind the toe cleavage in these but I got these BCB generation ones from Marshalls they were $29.99 and these are surprisingly comfortable only because I got like a half size bigger than what I normally wear I wear nine and the nine fit perfect but I, when I was walking in the shoe in the store, it just like kept rubbing, kept rubbing. I'm like, I don't want to get a blister. So like, I don't mind wearing like a slightly, you know, bigger shoe. It doesn't like really bother me. Um, as long as I'm comfortable. That's like my whole thing. Like, I don't want to wear a shoe that's going to like look nice and then hurt the whole time. But this is like, um, it's darker than a blush pink. I want to say it's like a mauve type pink. I don't know if it's really showing up on camera, but I really do like this shoe. And it's only $29.99, which is really good. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with BCB Generation. Those are, they make those affirmation bracelets. I have like quite a few of them. They are like supposed to be the cheaper line for most people know like BCBG and their shit is like pretty expensive. I used to work for them and they have like a really, really higher line. Like I know Kim Kardashian used to always wear like the dresses Hervé Leger and those dresses, they like have all these like really nice body con dresses and they're like a thousand bucks. I got... Ugh. I got these um black flats from Target. I want to say they're either $19.99 or $14.99. Um, I just needed some black flats. And like, you know, I like the Steve Madden ones that kind of look like this. But I mean, I see them in a lot of the discounted shoe stores that I shop at. But I'm just like, oh, I don't want to pay $40. So I got these black patent leather ones. Well, they're not real leather, I don't think. Yeah, man-made material, but this is patent material. I also got the leopard ones. Um, I mean, it's a really cheap shoe. It looks cute, but it's it like provides no support for your back, like any of that. Like I wear these to work, and by the end of the night, like my lower back is hurting. Looks looks nice though. I got these like weird colored yellow flats from the Gap, and these are actually like real leather. And I like I didn't even notice like the Gap has. This is the Swan Ballet Flat Fall 2012. I probably paid like 15 bucks for these. It has like a little purplish type bow. I got these like Rocket Dog cigarette shoes. When I was in high school, I had quite a few pairs of Rocket Dog because I used to work at a Marshalls when I was in high school and I paid like 13 bucks for these. These was on clearance and it's like some snakeskin material and these are actually comfortable. So I like those. I got these <laughs> Steve Madden like cute little like Oxford tape things. This is definitely more of like a springtime shoe simply because like some of these little things in the back are like actual holes. Think yeah these are 20 these were $29.99 and I really like these. They look really cute on my foot. And like I said, I do like pointy toe and my finger timed out. Yeah, I do like the pointy toe thing and these are really comfortable. I got these from DSW. I will, also, they were 70% off too. They were, I want to say $80 with 70% off. And these are by Jessica Simpson. And like I thought they were black, but it's like black with like this weird gold sheen and then it has like gold studs all around these shoes are really really comfortable like, I wore these at work all day and like it didn't rub on the back of my foot it didn't hurt I don't know what this shoe is called because I don't have the box in front of me but it looks like this it's so cute mm. um I also got this like tweed looking flat from Target I paid ten dollars for these these were on clearance um I don't even like I think I guess the tweed is like cream and gold and black has a little bit of gold in it but I really like these these are really these are actually more comfortable than the other ones they have a little bit more cushion I got these suede ones fuchsia from Target also for like $9.88 which I really like okay Oh, I got a pair of like boots for 10 bucks at DSW. These it's just some random brand. I think it says R2 on the inside. I think I think on the ticket it said it like retail for like 68, 58, 68. One of them. But I got these for like 10 bucks and I just love boots. And these are these they don't I need to like go to Aldo or somebody and put like a 
a thing on the bottom of these because these are like really slippery. Like you will bust your ass in these. I got these suede lo lucky brand loafers. I got these from Lord and Taylor on sale. They were after the coupon, they were like $23.99. And I really like these. And these are these are comfortable too. And then I got two more pairs of shoes to show you guys. These are just these um like the typical like J. Crew flats. I actually got these from the J. Crew Outlet. Yeah, the J. Crew Outlet. This is like a turquoise with um tan. And this is actually like that like tomato red orange and I really wanted these because there were these Vince Camuto ones I wanted and I never was able to get them because they sold out like really quickly and these are just as fine and I got these on super duper sale clearance they were like 20 bucks I think that these flats are usually like I'm I, like a lot of J Crew shoes in general like even at the outlet I'm kind of just like damn like these are like kind of pricey for you know some damn flats I don't feel like flats should cost that much money but I got them for like, cause they were like $59.97 on sale with a certain percentage off and then you guys to the register to take another percentage off. So either way, I paid like $20 to $24 for those. Um, I also got this little cute little thin belt from Jake. I thought this was so cute. Cause I'm, I'm, lately I have been into thinner belts to cinch in my waist. I don't have like wide hips by any means. You know, I wish I did, but I don't. So these help me look a little bit more shapely. Like all my makeup stuff is under here. Now, I'm actually going to stop my subscription to Glam Bag because I've just been like kind of disappointed in like the stuff that I've been getting. And it's like nothing, you know, against them. I just, I don't know. I'm just like, I'm not excited about it anymore. I'm just, I'm over it. But this came in the Jane, and plus, like, it, like, first of all, in my mind, I'm just like, okay, if you take my money out on the first, I need to have this, like, the fifth or the seventh, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, like, I got this, it, what is, today is the 29th? I got this, like, on the 25th. Like, I, it was so late. I'm just like, so then by the time, like, I get this, it's time for the next one. I'm just, I just don't want to deal with it anymore. I'm done. But it came with this sample lotion, Pacifica Tuscan Blood Orange uh, Body Butter. Um, it's not typically a scent that I would go for, but I actually do like it. I don't know who Pacifica is, but it does smell pretty good. Um, I got something else in my glam bag. What was it? Oh, I got some type, some brush. I don't know where it's at. I don't know where it's at. But I got another nail teeny nail polish. And this is like a really like more of like French manicure type of thing. And the color is called Frappe. And then it gave me a little sample of a Josie Marin 100% Argon Oil Organic Moisturizer. I didn't even open it to see what it looked like, though. Oh, you can apply this to your face. It's a daily moisturizer. Apply and clean face. Um, hair treatment. Apply to split ends. Body moisture. Apply to skin. Nail treatment. Apply to cuticles. Bath oils. Add to your bath. So that's cute, comes with a little dropper. So we'll try this on my little, you know, hair journey. See how that goes. I got, what is this? I got a eye makeup remover from Rimmel. This was like $4 and some change at Target. It's a gentle eye remover and it removes waterproof mascara. I don't, a lot of my mascaras are not waterproof because I just don't like, sitting here trying to really take it off all that time but <clears throat> we'll see how this works because sometimes my eyes can get pretty sensitive and then like it hurts when I take off my makeup uh, oh okay so I'm like a big fan of like Maybelline and I purchased two four six six of the like color vivid um lipsticks I think yeah, I got like all the colors I wanted some of the ones just kind of was like eh, you know but most of them I got from Target or like yeah Target <sighs> I got I want to say it's like 10 colors I got like six I got brazen berry which is my favorite and then you know obviously like I have other colors like this like from Mac like what is it can't think of the names right now but these are really pigmented and they're really, you know, they're not drying on my lips. And I do like that. It kind of reminds me of like a cream sheen, like an amplified finish from MAC. 
This one is called Hot Plum, and I've used this one too. Maybe I should swatch it for you guys. Swatch it. Look, and it's just so pretty. So that was, which one was that? Hot Plum. And then the, let's go back to Bra Brazen Berry. Mm. They look pretty similar next to each other, but this one is more purple. Um, I found that in looking for these, because some of them I had to go to different places to get them. When I, I wouldn't like, I wasn't like purposely going there for that. Usually I was like, oh, let me just see if they have it. But it's been like sold out pretty much. This is number 880 in Electric Orange. I have not used this one yet. And I tend to always go for like the same type of colors. This one I actually just got today. This is Pink Pop. Pink Pop. That's Pink Pop. This one is Fuchsia Flash. Did I use this one? I did use this one a little bit. A little bit. Let's put that one down there. This is Fuchsia Flash. Wait. Yeah, Fuchsia Flash. Then there's one more, and this is Vibrant Mandarin. It's a little bit more red than this one, whichever color it was called, neon orange or whatever. Um, I have like four more things to show you guys. Now, I have not been to MAC in like a really long time. I'm actually like not really that excited about like this Archie collection I mean most likely if I do get anything it'll be like the products I think it comes out next Tuesday if I'm not mistaken but I purchased two items because I want to see what the big deal was about this candy yum yum I have not worn it on my lips yet it's a matte it's a neon pink I know that it was with another collection and people were just like oh you gotta get candy yum yum and then I didn't get the shit and I was just like oh fuck I feel like I missed out on something but this is candy yum yum um do I feel like I have this? I mean, I don't think I do. Pretty sure I don't. It's a pretty, you know, decent color. Um, I watch, what's her name? You Love Megs. And she was just like, it's not giving me life. And I was just like, oh, not as much life as she thought it was going to give her. And then this color called Winter Pursuit. And to be honest, the only reason why I got it, well, I don't even know what collections came out with, but like on the cover, it's like this girl with like these really glossy more of a deeper red lip and then like a really like shiny looking eye and they said it was like this color with um like indian wood underneath it and it's a mineralized eyeshadow for me mineralized eyeshadows are either hit or miss they um it just looks like this because and then things like they're all different so like you have to some of the like goldy orange might not be there and then it's like this weird grayish blue or bluish gray i don't know um, typically I don't even try to section off the colors. I just group them all together, but sometimes they could be like really grainy. And like, if you don't use something underneath, like it really shears out and I like my color to be seen. And then there are two more things. No, three more things. I have got some Ardell number 110 black natural lashes. You can barely see them. They, I got the, I prefer natural looking lashes or just the accent ones, but usually like the stores I go to, they only have the 305 accent lashes and there's one that's a little bit like less close together, it's more spread out, but it's still like just the ones you put on the ends. And I think it's a 301 or like a 302, but they always, every time I go to a store, it's always like just 305, but my birthday is coming up. And I wanted some natural looking lashes for when, you know, I'm doing my thing or whatever I'm going to be doing. And the last two things that I got, I wanted to get a third one, but they didn't have the colors looking for. And Sephora, you know, they carry these now, these uh, OCC lip tars. I mean, I don't know if they're just giving them certain colors to see what, you know, if they would sell more, but they had like all the whack colors. Like I wanted like some, a purple, you know, like I wanted purple and yellow, these OCC lip tars and this like little packaging thing. It's, 
yeah it has like it comes in a little clear plastic thing and you unzip it okay so pretty much it says prime lips with OCC clear lip tar and allow to absorb dab the tiniest bead of lip tar onto tip of the brush they have a little tiny brush that comes with it um apply lip tar to the center of the lips and blend outward to the lip line and then top with clear lip tar if additional shine is desired from what i saw when other people tried it on apparently it looks glossy when you first put it on but then it mattes down so this color does it have a name it's called anime like you know like the japanese cartoons and let's put a little bit oh like okay so it's not as thick as i thought it was going to be because it kind of just squirted out and it doesn't really feel that thick to me but this is anime and it's really pretty this is really pretty and then the other color that I purchased, I don't know what it's called. I'm about to tell you in a minute. Like they put this pa this little paper in here and it gets stuck under the zipper. So that's annoying. This is a red color. This one is called, maybe it's not called anime. I don't know what this is called. They don't, I don't know. I don't know what this one is called. Maybe this, maybe it's not called anime. Maybe it just has like, I don't know. This is whatever the red one is. Cause I wanted the one that was like a neon orange, but they didn't have it. And that really was like a tiny dab a little, like, so like it went a long way. Hmm. This is more of like a deeper red, which is cool. And again, it went on, it looked a little shiny at first. And then as I can see, it is starting to matte down. This is, I think I have lip stuff on already. So it's not going to like. But apparently it stays on for a long time. And I guess I could sheer it out to make it a lip stain. But, uh, I don't even know like why I did that. Where's my makeup wipes? But yeah, so that's pretty much it for my haul. It was just mostly shoes, like on sale shoes though, not like regular price. Um, are any of you guys going to IMAX New York? I'm going to go. I like requested off from work and everything early. Tickets don't go on sale until February though. So, and it takes like $45. I feel like last year they were cheaper when I was considering going, but I'm definitely going to go this year. Because I want to see if the OCC Lip Tart people are going to be there because I want to get some other colors. This is a really, really dark one that I want to get. But yeah. Let me know if you guys are going to I Match New York this year. It's, I think it's April 6th or 5th. If you are there and you happen to recognize me and or see me, say hi. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will be back later on this week with another video. Hopefully, it's going to be a tutorial. It's just that, like, me and Jeff only have one car right now. So, like, I have to take him to work. I have to go to work. You know, it's just, like, a lot. So, and this is my only day off for the rest of the week. I'm not off again until next Monday. But anyway, see you guys later. Bye.